Good evening guys and welcome to my channel. It's Anneli from Sweden and we are going to make uh, some ephemera for the journal today. And uh, it's going to be uh, French letters. I uh, got this printable from uh, Ruby and Pearl XO. I uh, think the name is uh, both on YouTube and her Etsy shop and uh, I bought uh, a whole lot of different printables with uh, old French envelopes and they often did like this in uh, France old days that they uh, used the paper and then they write wrote the letter on the back and then made a envelope from the paper and that is uh, what we are going to do today and uh, try to make our own envelope like this sorry about my finger i uh, tried to cut some uh, cheese today and instead of cut the cheese i cut my finger so i need to have some band-aid for for it at the moment so uh, sorry about that but it it matches the color at least <laughs> okay we are not going to use any measurements we are going to do this the simple way and uh, i'm going to show you how you will make this so we will start with a paper i have a uh, a4 but you can use any measurements as long as they are have a long side and a short side so then you can just uh, choose the size you want you can do it with the a5 also but uh, the envelope will be very small but uh, they are cute too so the first you will do with your paper is to bring it to the other side and make it look like this. Do a crease on the middle so it uh, looks like this. Then uh, you take the side where the, it's open and uh, do another crease and you can of course do measurements and do this uh, absolutely straight and right and but I don't think they did that in old France either so we are just uh, going to try to make it to be an envelope so like this one and two then you can move it the other way and then you are going to decide how big your envelope is going to be so uh, I'm taking my envelope and make it like this And then you need the flap over like this so you can close it. So then you do just like this. And you have your envelope. One more time. I do it slowly. You have your A4 paper or uh, whatever size as long as it's shaped like this. So take your paper and uh, crease it in the middle. And then take the open side and do like this. So then it looks like a tube with a couple of standouts. In the side 
Okay. Then you're taking a long piece and uh, flip it up like that. And a closure like that. Then you have a little envelope or looks like a a um, sorry I lost the word coin envelope there we have it so uh, then we are going to do a clo closure later on but uh, until then I'm just putting a paper clip to hold it together you can see now it's very not straight Maybe we can do it a little bit better. So it's not totally, totally crazy. Like so. Then I'm going to use some stamps to do this and if you are good at uh, handwriting you can of course do an address by writing it but I'm not and I really like this uh, style that looks old so I have taken one of my stamps looking like this if you can see it like that and uh, this is uh, what I'm going to use I can take this one it looks better to do it so uh, whatever stamp you had or a uh, calligraphy style of pencil you can write your address so I'm just going to take a piece of paper with a straight line because I don't want all of this uh, to be printed just a little part so we can have it as an address As it's old and uh, from France I don't uh, want it to be it don't need to be perfect so I'm just doing like this actually I put this in place like that hopefully that is straight and I'm taking uh, my stamp that uh, I want to use as a address and press it down. Like so. Then I want to do something uh, with the stamp, so it uh, also looks like we have a stamp. Then I have another little stamp that uh, has a postmark and the stamp and it actually says uh, France on it, so that's perfect. Checking so I put it the right way. So giving that also just to press it off so it's not too much ink on it. I want it to look like it's a little bit old. So that's nice. Maybe something a little down here. It felt like it was a little empty there. So I think I will just do something like that. Ok. 
Okay. I have done a couple uh, of others. So I could show you. And uh, I think we need some color on this. It's a bit uh, boring. So we are going to take some watercolor and uh, give the stamp some, just a little color to stand out a bit. So I'm just taking some water and uh, I think I want it a bluish color. Kind of like light blue. And then I'm just putting some color on top of that. So that we have at least some color. of brown and the last one should we take dark green maybe greenish And we have a lot of envelopes like that. Okay, then uh, on the original we have uh, this uh, stamp and uh, some kind of closure that is uh, probably something that has been glued on so I think we can uh, maybe put something so that we can tuck this under to make it um, stay in place or you can also do as uh, simple as you just put the paper clip to hold it like that that can also work or maybe put a uh, ribbon around it. That can be cute when you put it in your journal. So um, let's try a couple of uh, different ways to do this. Just going to give it a little heat so it's uh, dry. like that put those aside and uh, 
Then I'm taking my little punch. And then I think I'm going to use a piece of a file folder that's a bit sturdy. And then I'm actually going to glue it together so it uh, gets even more sturdy. Using book binding glue so I'm sure that uh, it won't move anyway. And as I'm going to use this and uh, push out some round ones, it's uh, important that you glue it everywhere and not just in the edges because we want it to stay together all the way even when we have cut it out. I'm just going to take some Distress Ink to um, make it a little more vintage looking. Starting with the antique linen and see if that can give any color or if that is too light. I might have had some vintage photo on it since before, so like so. To just take another stamp, I think. Just for some interest. Don't need to be. Something that you can read or just so that something is uh, happening on the paper. Like that. And if you like to do some color on this too, you can of course do that. But I think I you can use some colored distress ink if you like that and uh, use Let's see if what we have maybe something uh, that is uh, like blue Let's see if i have another so you can do it so you can get some color on it too. This was the was speckled egg. Also distress ink. And uh, then I'm just going to push out some round pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six.
just a little ink on the edges. Let's do all of them while we are onto it so they are all done in case we need them and want to use them. So just show you these a bit close up so you can see them, how they look. stamp has dried so so they're a bit, a bit different but uh, that's nice unique and uh, that's nice okay then you can of course uh, do something uh, to make them even more old looking so uh, you can uh, do something on the edges Maybe just rip them and uh, give them some crease, sprinkle them up. And then of course Do something that is making them a little old. Maybe a little corner that is uh, and this one was uh, rather dark, but it's a beautiful place to write in. It's uh, eco dyed, but you can also uh, give it a little um, color if you want on the inside and of course on the creases and a bit like so so that's uh, totally up to you how uh, much color you want to to do with it Let's take these two that are a little different. This one is also eco dyed, so it has a beautiful pattern on the inside. But we might need to 
give it a little feeling of uh, roughness. Even if it's uh, quite dark. You can use a thing like this or you can also use just uh, use your scissors and do the same thing. Just be careful so you don't do overdo it. Then I'm taking uh, one of these uh, small round pieces and some glue. And then I'm checking where I want them to go. I think I want a dark one, greenish style, like that. So I get it where I want it to be. Give it a little mark and put some glue on half of it, the lower half, so this will stay down here. So then when this has dried, you just do like this and uh, put this in and uh, you have it closed like that. But I will leave it so it can dry. Do the same on this one. Let's see if we can straighten this a bit and give it a little Oops, give it a, a lot of uh, distress. So a eco dyed inside, but a little lighter. So, but then it's up to you how much you want to decorate it on the inside, where we are going to use it as a writing space. marking it out and put down the glue. Not too much, so you are pressing it too much. And then I do like this and press it from the upper way and down. So you can press the glue down if it's too much instead of up. And the same way you just tuck this under and it looks like this. One more. Take this big one. And you can of course do bigger decorations for closure if you like. 
you can do maybe a really big one that can be as a stamp or maybe some uh, to take something else and do one you can take a piece of this And then you actually can decorate it if you like. Making it a little old looking. And we can just put some glue here and maybe do a little ruffle. Just uh, holding that for a second. Maybe put something like this on it. Like so, like a kind of dangle. And uh, then do the same, see where you want it to be placed and uh, do a little mark and glue it down Something like that can also work. Give it a little more glue so it will hold it in place. This was a little heavier paper so it was a little harder to get it to stay. Okay guys, this was uh, the tip of the day. Make your own French letter instead of uh, using uh, digitals. You can just do your own like this. nice to have in your uh, journal and you can of course do more decoration if you like but I don't want to do them too bulky as I'm going to put them in pockets but if you are going to keep them down with a paper clip you can uh, 
maybe just to put on something like a snippet or some piece of lace. Should we try it? We can actually take these two. Closures. So let's do a little snippet for decoration. I feel really not comfortable with this. Uh, hanging out of my finger. It's easier if you do do it like this. Little rose. Just a little something so uh, that uh, is nice to look at. Can work. Can also go for some rough style. this embossed paper
a little piece of gross. to press it down with. Just a little beautiful, interesting piece. Nice to have. Okay, guys, I think that was my. Uh, idea for tonight so I'm going to continue with the rest of these small letters so I have a few to put in my journals and uh, I will of course show you when I have when they are ready so you can do some yourself and get some more ideas so keep an eye on my channel and uh, there will be several of these uh, in the journal later on. So thank you for tonight and uh, bye bye from Sweden.